I'll be with you in an instant. What's good, pal, with Director Pete? Today, I'm gonna bring you the instant zoom tutorial using Power Director 17. If you wanna get your instant zoom on, I want you to put hashtag zoom zoom in the comment section below. Here we are in Power Director 17. The instant zoom transition is a super awesome tool for creating a quick zoom transition from one scene to another. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make instant zoom transitions for your videos. Let's zoom a zoom zoom and a boom boom. You'll need a wide angle clip of your scene and a zoomed in clip of your scene. Place the wide angle clip on track two because it's gonna play on top of the zoomed in clip. Place the zoomed in clip on track one. You need to trim your video so that the action in the first clip matches up with the action in the second clip. These clips have already been trimmed so that the action lines up. As you can see, if I go ahead and move frame by frame, the boxer is throwing a right cross at the end of the first clip, and he's pulling back from that right cross at the beginning of the second clip. This makes for a much smoother transition when you zoom in, because you want your action to be lined up pretty close to what's going on in the two clips. These clips are recorded at 60 frames per second, so I'm gonna slow them down to create some smooth, slow motion. So I'm gonna click on the initial clip that's in track two. And then you wanna to go to tools, power tools, video speed. Here, you're gonna change your speed multiplier down to whatever percentage makes sense based on your frame rate and your timeline or your project timeline settings. This one, I'm gonna go down to 40%. I'm going to press enter, and then I'm gonna click on okay. I'm gonna go up to the second clip, which is on track one. I'm gonna do the same thing. Now it's time to create the zoom. But before you do that, I wanna remind you to subscribe to Power Director University to see great tips and tricks just like this every Saturday. And if you subscribe, don't forget to click on the bell to get notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. Now, back to the breathtaking tutorial. To create the zoom, you wanna stretch out your timeline so that you can see each frame. Next, you wanna go down to the clip on track two. You wanna left click on that. Place your cursor at the end until you see two arrows pointing in two separate directions. Hold down your left mouse and drag this clip over three frames. Now, you wanna do that because you need to create the, mo the moment of the transition. In order for that to happen, the clips must overlap. Now go ahead and click on your timeline, and then you wanna click on the clip in track one to make your playhead go to the beginning of that clip. Next, you wanna double click on the clip that's in track two to open the PIP designer. Now your playhead is at the appropriate position for you to go ahead and enable your position and scale keyframes. So go ahead and click on the position keyframe, and then click on the scale keyframe, and you will see that about three frames from the end, you'll see those two keyframes have been created there. Now, what you've just done is you've created a starting position for the zoom by placing those keyframes in that position. Now, you wanna be able to see both of the clips at the same time, so go up to opacity and change the opacity to 50% and hit enter, and now you can see both clips. The reason why you want to see both clips is because you're gonna to need to position the clip that's in track two over the clip that's in track one. So you wanna move your playhead to the last frame of the clip. And this will be the position where the zoom is complete. So it's gonna be a quick zoom because it's only three frames. So now you wanna position your scale so that you get it to the right size and then you wanna position the clip exactly over the other clip beneath it. 
So I already know what settings I'm gonna use. So for the width, I'm gonna go ahead and change this to 2.773 and hit enter. And you can see it zooms in and they're about the same size now. The next thing I need to do is change the position. And once again, I already know the position that I wanna use, so I'm just gonna type it in. And now the boxer is almost exactly in the same position, especially the one on the left that's throwing the punch. And that's really the one that I'm focusing the zoom on. So you can see how they're overlaid on top of each other very well now. So the next thing you want to do is change your opacity back to 100%. Hit enter. Now you want to go ahead and hit OK. And let's go ahead and play this back. And we should see some awesome instant zoom loveliness. Now that's how you make an instant zoom transition using PowerDirector 17. If you decide that you like PowerDirector 17 and you want to buy or upgrade to the software, I'll leave some links in the video description. Don't forget to drop me a comment and a like down below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.